How you doing guys, Zane's Every Boxing Dose of Jay back with another video and in this video I'd like to give you my prediction for next weekend's upcoming fight, you know, it's going down in the bantamweight division, you know, it's night over in New Way versus Jason Maloney, you know, this is a good fight, you know, a very interesting fight as well, um, so let's get into it, you see in New Way's coming off that big victory over Nonita in there, you know, and it has to be said in that fight. In New Way, his nickname is the Monster, but you know, he got caught in that fight quite a lot. You know, and that goes to show that he didn't have the experience that Nanita Dene had. Hence, the reason why he looked a bit vulnerable at times. You know, um, Nanita Dene constantly catching In New Way, and many of times, you know, uh, landing flush as well you know um and that's to that's to nanita Dene's credit you know he's got that experience been in there with a better competition than uh inoue you know but inoue in his own right gave a good account of himself you know even though he got hit quite often you know he was there the, the power was there at that weight you know um even though it's just not natural weight class you know he knocked down Nanita Dene quite badly in that fight and it could have been stopped you know but you know in that last fight he did look vulnerable and he did get caught a lot himself you know what worries me about um, Inoue is that lack of defense you know the lack of no head movement when he throws his shots he doesn't take a step back you know which allows his opponents to counter him and he got caught quite a few times in that fight you know, and I wasn't impressed by that, I must say. But on his strengths, he's got very good power. And he's got very good ring IQ. Very good um, stamina and conditioning, I must say. You know, and uh, he's been knocking out a lot of his opponents, you know. Nanita Dene was his last fight. And I think one of the only opponents to go the distance, you know. Uh, he's had 19 fights. 16 knockouts you know so he's got really good power at that weight and you know his ring generalship you know it's really amazing to see you know i believe new is one of the elite fighters out there you know um people would say and argue that maybe you know nanita dene exposed him you know which i don't think he did expose him yes he did to a certain extent you know but we got to understand that Inoue has never been in there with someone that's uh, like Nanita Dene before. And he came out of the fight, you know, and he won that fight quite convincingly. And it wasn't close, you know. I think it was a competitive fight at times. You know, he definitely won rounds. But, you know, Inoue did what he had to do to get the victory. You know, uh, even when he looked vulnerable. He was able to, you know, get out of trouble with his power, you know. So that was the main difference in that fight. But a good learning experience for uh, Inoue. And I was really impressed, you know. But after that fight, he took a lot of damage from that fight. He, he, was, he had a broken orbital bone, you know. And uh, that's quite alarming in my opinion. Broken eye socket or something. Something similar to what Kel Brook had, but he was, you know more able to continue throughout you know they didn't stop the fight but credit to a new way you know um people are gonna say how much this has taken out of a new way you know um i don't think it i don't think it will take a lot out of him you know i think he would definitely be a better more fighter after that experience you know but you never know you know so there are questions where yet to be answered whilst waiting for this fight on the other hand you know jason maloney a really good fighter you know 21 wins 18 ko's one loss coming by uh, emmanuel rodriguez which is a common opponent between both of these guys and uh what i must say that both of them face uh, emmanuel rodriguez at the similar time a year apart a year or two apart the most i believe so you know, it was uh, Emmanuel Rodriguez that was fairly, you know, really, really good at that point of his career, you know. Um, but 
we saw in the fight against Jason Maloney that he went the distance, you know. And it was a very close and competitive fight. It could have gone either way. I believe Jason Maloney started off slow in that fight and he allowed uh, Emmanuel Rodriguez to build up an early lead, you know. And, you know, it was a little too late in that fight, in my opinion. And some may argue that Jason Maloney won that fight. But on the other hand, we saw Inoue versus Emmanuel Rodriguez and we saw what Inoue was able to do within a few rounds, you know, and he knocked him out really badly, you know. So it goes to show that there is levels to this boxing game, you know. Um, at the same time, you know, Jason Maloney has a lot of advantages over Inoue as well, you know. He's got more uh, experience. Um, he's been in there with good sort of competitors as well, um, Jason Maloney, uh, I'd say he's got a good sort of boxing brain, but it's not, how can I say, he can't stick to a game plan for the whole 12 rounds, he manages to start, you know, going into a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle at times, and that's where, you know, his his disadvantages come into play, because Nure has got the power of him, and if that sort of thing happens, then I just think that Inoue is going to be able to catch him. You know, what I've seen about with uh, Jason Maloney, sometimes he keeps his uh, guard too high, which allows very good body shots to you know, get get in there, you know. I think Inoue is a very good body puncher. So, you know, it's going to be a difficult fight for Maloney, you know. That's all I can say because, you know, at times he does get caught in a slugfest and a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle, like I mentioned. So, you know, I just see that playing into Inoue's hand. You know, the way I see this fight going, though, guys, it's just a matter of time. I know I will be, I'll be damned if I'm wrong in this fight. But you know, I just feel that even though anything can happen in boxing, I just feel that Inoue is just an elite fighter. In like. Jason Maloney is not a bad fighter, he's a good fighter, but just not an elite fighter. And I, I like the courage that he's taken into this fight, you know, and he's got a puncher's chance, you know, 18 KOs, you know, he's not coming to lie down, I believe. But I just think we're going to see why Inoue's rated as one of the best pound-for-pound uh, -pound prospects, you know. We're going to see why he's named the monster yet again in this fight. I just feel that Inoue is going to take over in this fight, whether it be early to mid to late rounds, it's just going to be one punch that changed the whole dynamic of the fight. I don't think Jason Maloney is going to have the power to keep Inoue off of him, you know. Um, the way he walked through Donaire's shots, you know, shows me that he's he's got a chin, he can dish it out and he can take it, you know. And that's what a lot of fighters can't do. When you dish out your your punishment, you're going to be able to take it as well. You're going to have to. Otherwise, you know, you're just going to be known as an ordinary fighter. You've got to have that chin. And Inoue's got that chin, trust me. We've seen that. And I don't I don't think, I just don't think that uh, Maloney will be able to stop Inoue from coming forward and landing one of his own if he's going to have to get free of Maloney's, you know, and I think if one of them, one of them lands, it's a good night, and that's why I just can't see this going any other way, guys, so my final prediction, I've got Naoe Inoue to win this fight by knockout, I've seen him, I see him knocking him out, I just see it going down as a brutal knockout, you know, let me know your thoughts. What do you feel? Zane's every box in dosage. Going with Naoue Inoue to win by a knockout. You know. So let me know your thoughts. Now.